Digital technology is everywhere, making life easier in your car, laundry room, bedroom, and now the bathroom. Flow into the digital age with IO Digital, Moen's new line of easy to use and easy to install digital showering and bath technology. What makes IO Digital so easy? That's simple. IO Digital uses an electronic valve to control temperature and flow. It's intelligent, precise, and consistent. Users can recreate the same bath or shower experience with a touch of a button. To make installation easier, the innovative IO Digital valve can be located up to 30 feet from the bathroom. There are also fewer trim components to install, which saves you time and provides a clutter-free appearance. All IO Digital valves include push-fit connectors that are simple and quick to use with PEX, CPVC, or copper tubing. Adjusting the maximum temperature on the IO Digital valve is easily done via a dial control instead of time-consuming calibration. Thanks to Moen's advanced engineering, IO Digital provides high flow rates to run all types of shower heads. And all IO Digital system components are backed by a five-year limited warranty. And the finishes and mechanical components feature a lifetime limited warranty. With intuitive controls, simple operation, and hassle-free installation, Moen made IO Digital as easy as it is innovative. See for yourself. The IO Digital shower controller and valve are easy to use and easy to install. All it takes is 11 simple steps. For this demonstration, we'll be using PEX, but CPVC and copper plumbing can also be used. Step 1. Assemble the proper tools and materials. For safety and ease of installation, we recommend these helpful tools. A Phillips and flathead screwdriver, thread seal tape, sealant, tape measure, temperature gauge, drill, pencil, and safety glasses. You'll also need to purchase a few materials, such as 2x4s and wood screws. Plus, don't forget to buy the IO Digital shower controller with the valve in order to test the plumbing. As with any plumbing project, shut off the water supply before getting started. Step 2. Determine where to install the IO Digital shower valve. It can be placed under a tub, in a cabinet, closet, or basement, virtually anywhere. How is this possible? A 30-foot data cable connects the IO Digital controller to the valve giving you 30 feet of flexibility. When determining where to install the valve, keep a few things in mind. If you place it behind a wall, an access panel is required, a minimum of 14 and a half by 16 inches. Also, the working side of the valve must face the access panel. The IO Digital shower valve has several mounting positions. It can be installed vertically, horizontally, and flat. And finally, be sure to allow for adequate slack in the data cable and power cord. A drip loop must be included at each connection. Step 3. Mount the IO Digital Shower Valve. For your convenience, the IO Digital Valve was engineered to fit between a regular 2x4 framed wall. In order to mount the shower valve, a mounting bracket must be installed onto a 2x4. Notice the mounting feet on the valve. Swivel the feet out so there's more space between the valve and the 2x4. This space is important because the data cable may run along here. Simply insert the screws and the valve is attached. If you know where to mount the IO Digital shower controller, you can install its 2x4 brackets now. If not, get a rough idea of placement until the final decision is made. Step 4. Install the electrical outlet. The IO Digital shower valve needs to be plugged into a 110 volt AC supply on a GFCI circuit. A certified electrician should install the initial GFCI outlet. The power supply must be placed above the valve with a drip loop between the valve and outlet. Step 5. Connect the shower valve inlets and outlet to plumbing using push fit connections. Installation is quick and easy with our push fit connections. No soldering or threading is necessary. IO Digital shower valve inlets and outlet are both half an inch. The inlets use shut off push fit connections. 
and the outlet uses an inline push fit connection. To install shut off push fit connections, just push it onto the brass adapter or plumbing line. To remove it, press in the release and pull. To install the inline push fit connection, simply push it onto the brass adapter or plumbing line and turn towards the center of the fitting to lock. To release, turn away from the fitting, push down on the release ring and remove. It's that easy. Step 6. Temporarily connect the IO Digital shower controller and valve to test the system. Before the wall is finished, be sure to test the plumbing lines. To do this, you'll need to connect the IO Digital shower controller to the valve. If you haven't already determined where to mount the IO Digital controller, do it before testing the lines. A cardboard mounting template comes with the controller to make installation quick and easy. Determine where the controller will be mounted. Then attach the template to the appropriate 2x4s. Install a 2x4 above and below the template. The controller will eventually be attached to these 2x4s. A 30 foot data cable connects the IO digital controller and valve. For added safety, leave the protective cap on until final installation. Notice the small hole in the controller template. One end of the data cable goes through it and is inserted into the back of the controller. To insert, carefully align the arrows on each connector. The other end of the data cable is inserted into the valve. To do this, open the back panel and insert the data cable. The IO Digital shower valve is factory set with the presets enabled. So when you receive the valve, the dial should be positioned on the unlock symbol. You also have the option of disabling the presets. To do this, use a flathead screwdriver to turn the dial to the lock symbol. Before going any further, make sure the valve is operational. When you plug in its electrical cord, an orange light should illuminate on the valve. This indicates that it's functioning properly. Step 7. Attach the shower head. First, wrap thread seal tape onto the shower head arm. Then attach it to the plumbing line. Place the escutcheon over the arm and push it flush to the shower wall. Finally, wrap thread seal tape onto the end of the arm and attach the shower head. Step 8. Check for leaks and perform an outlet temperature test. Turn on the water supply at the inlets. Then use the controller to turn on the shower head and check for leaks. As you do this, also check the water temperature. On the IO Digital shower controller, turn the temperature dial all the way to the right so all LED indicators are red. To check the temperature, place your temperature gauge in the water. The temperature should not exceed 120 degrees Fahrenheit per code. If it does, you'll need to lower the temperature setting on the valve. To do this, first disconnect the power. Remove the back panel, then use a flathead screwdriver to turn the temperature dial counterclockwise. Replace the back panel and repeat the temperature test until the reading is below 120 degrees. If you experience reduced flow, try servicing the inline cone filters in the inlet adapters. To do this, use the shutoff valve to turn off the water. Take off the brass adapters and remove the cone screen filters. Check for debris on both sides. If they need to be clean, run them under water. Then reinstall and see if water flow improves. Step 9. Mount the IO Digital Shower Controller. When the walls are finished, the IO Digital Shower Controller can be mounted. Remove the back plate from the shower controller and use it to mark the screw hole locations. Then drill pilot holes. Apply clear silicone sealant onto the back plate. Carefully align it on the wall with a level and insert the screws. Remove the protective cap from the data cable and insert it into the back of the controller. Remember to line up the arrows on each connector. Place the top of the controller into the back plate. Then push the bottom down so it securely snaps into place. And that's it. Step 10. 
Sync the IO Digital remote control to the shower controller. The remote control is optional, so not every system will have one. Before syncing the remote to the shower controller, be sure it has the proper batteries that are provided in the box. To sync the remote, the shower controller must be off. Simultaneously press the on-off button on the remote and the pause button on the controller. Hold for about four seconds until the remote beeps and you're done. Step 11, complete your paperwork. During the installation, be sure to fill out the installer instructions on your installation sheet. This lets the owner know that you've thoroughly performed all of the necessary testing and installation procedures. And don't forget to leave the IO Digital User Guide with the owner. It's a helpful reference tool. Our goal at Moen is to create easy to install systems that perform at the highest level. IO Digital is proof that advancements in technology don't have to be intimidating or overly complicated. If you need any additional information about IO Digital, please contact your Moen representative or call customer support at 1 800 BY MOEN. IO Digital, technology made simple. Moen, buy it for looks, buy it for life.